Dear students, welcome back to the second podcast of Chapter Nine, Traders, Kings, and Pilgrims. Our next topic is the story of the Silk Road. The rich, glossy colors of silk, as well as its smooth texture, make it a highly valued fabric in most societies. Making silk is a complicated process. Raw silk has to be extracted from the cocoon of silk worms, spun into thread, and then woven into cloth. Techniques of making silk were first invented in China around seven thousand years ago. while the methods remained a closely guarded secret for thousands of years some people from china who went to distant land on foot horseback and on camels carried silk with them the paths they followed came to be known as the silk route sometimes Chinese rulers sent gifts of silk to rulers in Iran and West Asia and from there the knowledge of silk spread further west about 2000 years ago wearing silk became the fashion amongst rulers and rich people in Rome it was very expensive as it had to be brought all the way from china along dangerous routes through mountains and deserts people living along the route often demanded payments for allowing traders to pass through some kings tried to control large portions of the route this was because they could benefit from taxes tributes and gifts that were brought by traders traveling along the route in return they often protected the traders who passed through their kingdoms from attacks by robbers the best known of the rulers who controlled the silk route were the kushanas who ruled over central asia and northwest india around 2000 years ago their two major centers of power were peshawar and mathura takshila was also included in their kingdom during their rule a branch of silk route extended from central asia down to the sea ports at the mouth of the river indus from where silk was shipped westward to the roman empire the kushanas were amongst the earliest rulers of the subcontinent to issue gold coins these were used by traders along the silk route